possible for a horse to be born into the Hall of Fame, a good machine would be as close as it gets. Fold in Illinois on March 4, 1993, the Bay Colt was bred by Don Schroeder of Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. He is the son of Hall of Fame stallion Zippo's Mr. Goodbar, whose Hall of Fame sire, Zippo Pine Bar, is by Hall of Famer Zippo Pat Bars. The dam of Zippo's Mr. Goodbar is a daughter of Hall of Fame sire Blondie Stewed. And that's just on his sire's side. A Good Machine is one of nine performers from 11 foals out of the War Machine mare, War Kelpie. War Machine was the son of the Hall of Fame thoroughbred stallion Top Deck and out of Law Machine, a maternal granddaughter of racing champion sire Flying Bob. War Kelpie produced the earners of more than 800 AQHA points, including ROM performers A Good Machine, his full siblings A Good Revelation and Too Good to Believe, and his half-brother Blazing Tradition, a gelding by Blazing Hot. Richard Rick McDonald, who stood the stallion at his MC Equine Enterprise LLC in Whitesboro, Texas, says, Mac was a big horse, 16-1 and probably weighed between 1,250 and 1,300 pounds. He had lots of confirmation, very strong, very eloquent looking, just had tons of ability for as big as he was. He could go very slow for a horse his size. It was incredible. A good machine carried John Dean in the saddle at the 1995 AQHA World Show and was a top 10 finalist in the two-year-old Snafflebit Futurity. At the All-American Quarter Horse Congress, he earned the reserve champion title in the same class. They went on to earn the stallion his superior award in Western Pleasure, were third in the Congress Junior Western Pleasure in 1996, and finished in the top 10 in Junior Western Pleasure at both the 1996 and 1997 World Shows. Mac was an easy horse to train and show, says John, who showed the horse for Dr. Ronald Nicholas before eventually buying him. When I first got him as a two-year-old, he had been ridden maybe 30 times. Mac was really just a natural horse, an easy horse to train, an excellent loper right from the start. A good machine's foals carry his capabilities and athleticism. His confirmation, athleticism, and disposition are seen in his progeny today. Mac crossed so well with so many different types of horses, Rick says. They did the English, they did the Western, they did trail, Western riding halter. There really wasn't anything he didn't cross with. He didn't have one perfect nick. He had a good nick with everything. A good machine built success into his foal's DNA, but also gave his humans a lot of success. In my opinion, a good machine was a really, really good individual, John says. But what he produced is the biggest deal. A sire that produces excellent babies that win in the show pen is a good horse. But when a sire produces some of the hottest stallions right now, like Machine Made and others, that's what makes a great stallion, a Hall of Fame horse. A good machine was euthanized May 28, 2011 due to a spinal myelopathy. That horse was my pal. He really was, says Rick. A good machine was a true, true quarter horse, what our foundation was. That's why he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Durability, versatility, longevity. A good machine not only possessed those traits, but passed them down to generations of champions to follow. We welcome this great stallion and his legacy into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame.